from the pub and nightclub scenes, an introduction agency is a return off. But Vilma Ward's been looking at social clubs and found a romantic success story. There's nothing like a springtime wedding. And like most brides on their big day, Joy Clements has a case of prenuptial excitement. And in just three hours' time, she'll join her sweetheart Bert at the altar to become Mrs Harris. And I can't wait to get there and meet Bert and go through the ceremony with him. I'm dying to be Joy Harris. Just 12 months ago, today's picture was totally different. Both Joy and Bert were alone and divorced. But instead of dwelling on the past, they decided to get out and meet new people. I thought, I've got to get out and start having some social life. And I saw the little ad in the paper saying they were starting up an over 45s and single club. So I thought, oh, I like, used to enjoy temping bowling when I was younger, so I went. And as they say, the rest is history. I now declare them to be husband and wife. And you may kiss your bride. Bert and Joy's romance blossomed through weekly social nights at the Kedron 10 Pin Bowl. So, of course, for their big day, it was only appropriate that they return to where it all began. So who did the chasing? I did the chasing. Yes, I would say that's true, but I like a man who chases me. <laughs> I caught you too. <laughs> and as for having luck on their side, will the pins speak for themselves? And whilst today's story had a happy ending, sometimes the reality of blind dates and introduction agencies is quite different, and for some people can be altogether off-putting. If it feels good, do it. I guess for people who are single and looking for friendships and looking to meet new people, the converse is also true. If it doesn't feel good, don't do it. Sherry Wright from Relationships Queensland understands the anxiety associated with trying to meet new people. It's scary for anyone to go out and meet new people and particularly those people that have been in a relationship before and more so the longer you've been in a long-term relationship. But there are right and wrong ways to approach the single scene and Sherry warns against focusing all your energy on meeting the elusive Mr or Mrs Wright. If they go out with the idea of enjoying themselves, enjoying the activity and perhaps making new friendships rather than this is the one, um, I think by lowering their expectations down to that level, they risk much less disappointment. But if you're alone and find the whole pub and club scene quite daunting or refuse to let a computer match you with a partner where do you begin? Well, as Joy and Bert discovered, social clubs are the go. Relationships usually form out of friendships. And in order to make friends, you've got to mix with people. And if you're going to mix with people, why not do that? Doing something that you prefer to do yourself. So remember, you're never too old to find someone. And by just getting out and enjoying life, the worst thing that can happen is you'll meet new friends along the way. You've got to force yourself to get out there and mix with people. And that it doesn't necessarily, even if you don't meet Mr. Wright or something like I've been fortunate enough to do, you will at least be being involved with people and you don't feel as lonely and, and depressed. 